Well, this is episode seven of our Sims uh, Decades Challenge. <clears throat> it's been a while since I've posted. I've been working on this for a couple weeks, but with the holidays coming, and I had a bunch of projects I was working on for people for gifts, because I do like to make handmade gifts. It took a while, so I missed a few weeks, but that's okay. Um, I hope everybody had a good holiday. Um, New Year's is coming up, so I have a little bit of time between now and then, hopefully get maybe a couple videos out. So, let's see here. Um, our family here, we have a toddler boy named George. We have little Annie, who's a child. Uh, we have our family who... Oh, a Annie's not the child. Annie's the mom. Ellie's the child. Anyway, um, our family's a group of farmers in the 1890s. And they're working on their farm here. I finally figured out how to do the large crops. So, I'm going to plant some large crops in a minute after I see here. We moved up into summer recently. So, we're just in the summer. So, I'm trying to make sure... I have all summer plants out here now. Some of them are dormant. That's what those little door, mount, door mounds, dirt mounds are. <laughs> so we'll just let those there for now. But we get most of our income from our plants and from the stuff we get from our chickens and our cow. And we're doing pretty good, really. We did get some money when she married her husband, Taylor. But, you yeah, know, whatever. <laughs> so we're going to plant some watermelon. And I like all the bird sounds they have for the summer. It's really pretty. It can be pretty relaxing right now. I really enjoy the summertime in The Sims when it's so cold here. It was like in the teens. Oh, no. Well, there goes Gertrude. Oh, she's pretty unhappy. I wonder if it's because she's end of life. Because I think I was taking care of her pretty well. But, aw. It's nice that Grim Reaper takes the animals by petting them and not just slicing his scythe. <laughs> but I think we're just going to go right into getting another animal. I'm not sure if I want to get another cow or a llama, but, uh... The llamas are cute, but I think I'm going to stay with a cow. Let's get a Holstein this time. I don't know if I'm going to worry about naming it, because... You know, they don't last very long. <laughs> don't want to get attached. So here's little George out in the garden talking to the plants. And we'll have Dad here check out the plants, too. Um, yeah, so I think the plants are pretty good. But anyway, I mean, you guys, whoever's watching, I know there's not a ton, but... <laughs> um, there's a lot of footage because I kept everybody in normal lifespan. I'm not short because there's a lot of things I wanted to do and I wasn't sure how fast it was going to go. But there's a lot of stuff I could cut out. If I keep too much in and you think I should cut more out and just keep, like, high points in, like birthdays and births and deaths, then I can do that. And I would speed things up a bit. Or if you like seeing all the day-to-day -day stuff, just let me know in the comments. That'd be great. Oh, yeah. I was having some trouble with... Sometimes when I come back in the world, I forget to put the move objects back on and then they can't walk around because their house is kind of tight with some of the furniture. <laughs> So I couldn't figure out what was going on here. Why the heck she couldn't do what I wanted her to do and what was going on. Yeah, sometimes with the knitting, it's, I don't know. Sometimes with the knitting, like she has to sit and then you, you set her to knit. And she just, I don't know, for some reason she just wasn't doing it. It was kind of a pain in the butt. I don't know how many times I tried. I tried it like three or four times to try and get her to knit. But, no, well, at least I got to work eventually. But it can be kind of glitchy, I think. But right now... The daughter, Ellie, is still at school. So we're dealing with that. I don't know how long it's going to be until she ages up, and I think we should probably try and start having another kid soon, but I don't know if we're going to try that in this episode yet or maybe aim for that the next episode. Well, <clears throat> Ellie's finally home from school. Uh, I think the biggest thing I'm going to work on for a little while is just keeping their needs up. Uh, making sure they're getting their skills up too, especially the kids, so we can get some of the good traits as they age up. Um, so that means just kind of doing the daily grind with Sims, you know. Skills levels up, needs up, working on aspirations, stuff like that. Check on the cow here. And the farm, the watermelons are growing already. It looks like there's going to be a lot of watermelons, but I noticed that eventually most of those go away. You only end up with like two or three, maybe four plants at the end. So, 
it's kind of deceiving when you think you're gonna get get, get nine <laughs> and you get less than half um, but yeah have Ellie doing her homework um, figures she'll need to do her school projects because like I said I want her skills to be up and her to do well to get the good good traits even though some of these school projects definitely aren't 1890s oriented school projects like you know making a volcano or building a robot So, but we'll have mom help her out. That'll be cool. Work together. Plus, it kind of makes it go faster, I think. I don't know if that's accurate, but it feels like it goes faster. We'll have Dad Taylor here do some more fishing. See if we can get anything interesting to sell. I don't really care so much about the fish. I just kind of want to see what else we can get. Because you can get some pretty weird things when you go fishing. And some of them can be pretty pricey. And we could sell them. Oh, now George is here. See, now George is so tired. He goes outside to go talk instead of just going right to bed, which is kind of annoying, but but now we have to let that poor little guy walk the whole way in to bed. I'd have the mom carry him in, but sometimes that glitches out and it's such a pain because they'll carry him in and then they won't put him down or they won't put him to bed or they walk back out with him. So I just kind of try and avoid that whole situation. So I'll just make his toddler way to his bed and get mom some something to get something to eat after making the project here oh, see made our little I think it's a castle a little castle project but you know I don't think many people in the 1890s made little dioramas so but what do I know selling some of our stuff I mean we got plenty of money in the bank but we might have to, if we have more kids, we're probably going to have to add on to the house. And I'm not sure how we're going to do it here. Because there's not really a good place to put a second floor. And I don't really want to, there's not really a good place to add another room either. So I'll have to look into that if we have her get pregnant again. Because we're going to have to make more space somehow. She's always holding that clay. Play with it by the mailbox, which is kind of silly. Let's have her do a little bit of work before we send her to bed. Yeah, we gotta keep on top of cleaning that shit. That thing gets dirty so easily. It's like if you don't clean it, well, you have to do it at least once a day, but I feel like you have to do almost twice a day for it to not get gross all the time and keep your animal happy. But I guess since it's such a big animal, I don't know, maybe that's normal. I wasn't a farmer, so I wouldn't know. I almost forgot about Taylor and his fishing, so. Get him home and get him to bed. Yeah. I think everybody's tired. It's been a long day. It's already 11. Alright, sleeping through the night. Oh, great. I hate the monster under the bed thing. I mean, if it was, it, I don't have any cheats on here, any mods to get rid of the monsters in the bed. So I have to just deal with it because I also figure in 1890s they didn't have night lights, so I can't use the little night light that helps keep the monster away because, ugh, I'm trying to be as close as I can with the Sims, even though it's the Sims, but oh well, we'll deal. I mean, there weren't monsters on the bed in 1890s either. Now we need to get little Georgie fed. He is super hungry. I don't want to take the chance that somebody will take him away because I'm not sure how you get a kid back from that. I don't know if you can. So make sure he's got something to eat. And Ellie will be going to school soon. Let's get Dad some breakfast. Everybody gets breakfast. You should probably get a bath too today. Probably should have got one last night, but oh well. We'll have George come and talk to the plants. I think, I don't know who I'm going to have be the heir. So, both of them should kind of get used to plants, I guess. Someone's going to need to be a farmer. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue the generations in the same house. Or if I'm going to go ahead and each generation move them to a different home. I don't know. I mean, it, maybe it depends on who the heir is and what we're going to have them do. I don't know at this point. Um, we're gonna kind of still just starting this all out. I mean, we're still in the first generation. So, 
I don't know, nothing set in stone really. I guess I can do whatever I want. I mean, the rules to the challenge say about the first few decades only having the male be the heir, but I don't know. I think it depends. I think if I decide to have one, uh, Ellie be the heir, or if we have any other kids and have them be the heir, if it's a girl, have them move out, because that's normal. I mean, a, a girl back then would probably get married to another guy, whether he's a farmer or someone from town. And the son, the oldest son, would probably stay home and work on the farm. I don't know. So, I mean, we could stay with George at the farm if I decide to make him the heir, or we could move out with one of the girls and, you know, make a new path and have new jobs and a new house. I don't know. But here, sell some of his stuff. Maybe we'll keep that lump of clay. They seem to like the clay, but he's made a lot of stuff on his woodworking table. We could sell that stuff at least. And he's hot-tempered, hot so he's angry a lot, so that's kind of annoying, but, you know. And uh, she's uncomfortable. I don't know. I think it's just the dirt on the floor there that she's mad about. I don't think the other things, and the fridge isn't dirty, and the stove looks dirty, but it's not really. But she's, I think, I forget if she's a perfectionist or the neat personality where she cleans a lot anyway. Excuse me. But we'll have her interact with the chickens here. It's been a while. Some of these chickens are... Newer, our first generation of chickens, most of them have passed away already. Ooh, they do not like her yet. Oh, crap. Well, now she's going to be all scared of the chickens, isn't she? Now let's try this again, maybe? No, I have to do some cross-stitch. She does a lot of knitting, but maybe we should do some more cross-stitch. It's not as... Cross-stitch isn't as... Good at getting money, but... It's something fun to do. I mean, I like to cross stitch in my spare time sometimes, but it's just not a money maker for The Sims. So let's get George fed again. He's finally mastering the potty training skill, I guess. Get his toys in order here. Make sure he doesn't go hungry or get too tired. Dad's still fishing. Ellie's finally home. She had such a low fun level. She was super tense from school, so I figured we'd get her fun level up. It's kind of a pain because there's no easy ways to get the fun levels up, and the toys seem to take a while. Ooh, gummy guppy. Oh, I love Swedish fish. That was like my absolute favorite candy. I don't know why. I can't stop myself at one either. It's really horrible. I have, I eat way too much of those if I get them. I only ever really get them now except for holidays or birthdays. So I really got to hoard them and not eat too many. I'll have George interact with the chickens. I don't think the chickens will peck a toddler. And if he ends up being the heir of the farm, he needs to be pretty familiar with the animals. So might as well. I still got George or Taylor fishing. Not getting anything super interesting at the moment. Okay, just that one gummy guppy. I think we caught a camera earlier. Ooh, voodoo doll. I think those are pricey. I mean, we're not going to use that, so we might as well sell that when he comes back. That'd be cool. Aww, chicken's old. No. That's what's ending about having all these animals. They, they pass on pretty quickly, especially the chickens. Great. There's our buddy monster under the bed again. Oh, I might have to figure out some way of getting rid of the monster in the bed. I can't use the nightlight. Uh, not sure. And the room's not big enough to put a double bed in there, because I don't think it would show up with a double bed. Hmm. That's such a pain. Because then she's not going to sleep through the night. And she always, even when there's a parent already in the room, they have to go and wake up the other one. Why do both parents need to be up? That's just kind of silly. One parent should be enough. So we're just going to put Taylor back to sleep, have Mom take care of the monster in the bed, try and get Ellie to nap, because she won't sleep. No, oh, well, she'll be tired tomorrow. Nothing I can do about that for now. Well, <clears throat> now that the uh, monster situation's over, oh, Grim's here. One of the chickens is going to die. I don't want to check and see 
It might be more than one. I may have to buy some more chickens after this. Mm. Gotta check his little tablet, see whose time it is. Hmm. Oh, this little guy's pretty dirty. Grungy. Okay, Georgie. Georgie needs a bath. We need to get him fed. Oops. Where did that go? Did it go back into the fridge or did it get stuck in? No, it's not stuck in the wall. Must have went back in the fridge, I guess. Let's try that again. George is a little stinky. Gross. Alright, Ella needs to get to school, so she should go. We'll have Mom take care of George. Clean that stinky boy. And Dad's getting ready in the bathroom. It's going to be another day of just dealing with the farm and the animals. Maybe send Dad off to get some fishing done and go buy some chicks. We've lost quite a few chickens this episode. Stomp, stomp, stomp out to the chicken coop. My goodness. Yeah, make sure our cow's happy. At least she's wearing her summer, summer outfit now. That's a cute one. George is doing better. Not so stinky. But he's not at all oh, great. Now he had a little potty accident, so I'll have to have Mom clean that later. And let Dad keep taking care of the new cow. No name new cow. We are not naming our another, another cow. Oh, Jumpy cow. It's a feisty little cow. Alright, so still taking care of our garden. Our watermelon haven't grown yet. It takes a little while. Hopefully soon. We'll have mom work on some more knitting. Keep knitting decorations. I don't know, stuff we can put in their room maybe. I don't know, it'd be kind of neat to maybe keep something throughout the future generations that she made. I don't know. I'll probably forget to do that though. Good intentions, but doesn't mean I'm going to remember to do all that. Um, she's, Ellie's tired, sleeping after school, taking a nap, because, you know, like, you know, monster in the bed thing. She only napped most of the night, so she didn't get a good sleep. But we still got to take care of her needs and do some homework at least, so we can get her skills up, so when she levels up, she's got some good traits. And get some playtime in with George while he's a little guy. I like the interaction, the uh, animation they show when it's play. It looks crazy, but it looks fun. Hopefully we'll have no visits from the monster on the bed today. That's super annoying. Oops, I don't want to ask for pie help. Just have him go by himself. He can do that. He's a big boy. Mom is pretty tired. We'll do our nighttime stuff. Get ready for bed. Sell some of our stuff in here. I always have to kind of look at each individually because I don't know what I want to sell and what I want to keep. I probably should just sell it all, but I have some things I can probably plant in the fall in here, maybe. It'd be nice to have plants each season. Because, I mean, normally not a lot of people plant things in the winter, at least not where I'm from. But there's got to be some stuff we can use in the winter. Because we'll have to be able to make some money. But we have enough. We'd probably be able to get through a winter. But a winter would be pretty long. I have my season set for monthly. So it's kind of long. Well, at least Ellie's in a good mood. She's not as tense as she was. She'll probably be tense soon if we don't get some fun in her. So we'll get her to have a bath. And see what we can do to raise her fun level at the time. George is playing with his rubber duck. But he needs to get something to eat, so we'll do that. I think we sent Dad fishing. Hopefully we won't. Yeah, we did. He's got something. 
So hopefully we won't forget about him. <laughs> he hasn't really got too many interesting things from fishing. Gotten a lot of fish, but not too many. We had to get, to get that voodoo doll. That was kind of cool. My mom canned some oh. preserves. Super cute. I think all the chickens are in the house. We got four chicks, two grown up chickens. Holy moly. Should go outside and enjoy the fresh air, chickens. Alright, <clears throat> so we're having them sit down and eat dinner at the moment before we go to bed. Gonna soon wrap up this episode in a couple minutes, I think. Um, see if we can get them to try for baby. I don't know if it's gonna work. Sometimes it's kind of glitchy. Nope, she's going to bed. Maybe she's too tired. But I kind of want to try. Try again, lady. Come on. Try for another baby. What's the hold up here? Come on. Oh, come on. Is it working? Yeah, okay. I was going to say, are they going to bed? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Maybe we should put the kids to sleep so they don't stumble across anything they shouldn't see. Put the toys back. She likes to keep stuff in her inventory. Alright, hurry things along here. Okay. Alright, so. Put, oh shoot. He's gonna be dirty again. Why does he get dirty so quick? Holy moly. I need to get her to take a prego test. Oh, no baby this time. We'll have to try again. I don't know if we're going to try again before this episode's over. Because now she's sad. Mm. I'll just sleep for now. Maybe in the morning? I don't know. Because now she's exhausted. Well, that's pretty surprising, though. Usually when I try for a baby, I usually get pregnant. So, that's something. So it just goes to show you it doesn't happen all the time. Ooh, George is leveling up. Good job, buddy. That's a miracle. See? Alright, at least she's not sad anymore. Hmm. I think that's it for this episode of the Sims Decades Challenge. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get pregnant this time, but hopefully next episode we will. And we'll see how many siblings we end up with here with George and Ellie. And hopefully, at least Ellie will age up next time. Maybe George. So hopefully you enjoyed the episode. And we'll see you next time.